Yeah, I'm hunting them cheeks, girl. I'm gonna come. You've been a bad girl. Come here. You've been a naughty, naughty little. Spank that mama. I'm gonna spank that booty. Oh, I'm a disgusting, all right. Oh, <laughs> I'm disgusting. Ooh, here she comes. Here she comes. You ready for this, girl? You ready for this butt whipping? I, I, I know. Ring around the rosy. Slap that butt like a posy. Mama gonna spank you. Daddy gonna have to. Daddy gonna have to. Yeah. Daddy gonna have to spank you. This program contains subject matter and language that may be disturbing to some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. And if you don't like the F, I'm saying kick rocks with no socks while wearing flip flops. Let's go. What is this spectacular, people? This is SFC Spectacular back on this mic to rock your body right. And I am the NCOIC of all things entertaining on this channel. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you to everybody who has been watching my videos and everybody who's new here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, if you haven't already and you are new and this is your first time, hit that subscribe button, uh, hit the like button, do whatever you, all that good stuff because I got more videos for you and I have a bunch of videos you can go binge on after this you're done with it. But we're here to talk about Resident Evil 8 and I wanted to start uh, kind of a new video series because let's be, let's be honest, I can't buy every freaking new video game. You can't either, but uh, I'm not. So why not review, give you reasons I'm not going to buy a game? Why it isn't worth the price tag? What I find unappealing about it? I mean, a lot of people might say, you haven't played the game, so how can you give an opinion? Well, I think I've been playing games for over 30 years. I think I know whether I like something or not. I mean, can I say that? Can I make an opinion on that? Um, and Resident Evil 8 just hasn't been that game for me. It's got a lot, a lot, a lot of good things about going on about it. Don't get me wrong. It's a great game. It's just not a game for me. Can we say stuff like that? Well, people still get mad if you say it's not a good, it's a good game, but it's not for me. No, it seems to be one side of the fence or not. But in this particular case, I'm going to just split it down the middle and tell you why I don't like the game. But let's get back to Resident Evil 8, and I'm going to tell you why. Um, First off, I wasn't the biggest fan of RE7. Well, not at first, but I got to admit, it, it was a good game. It grew on me. I bought it a year after it came out, so I caught it on sale, which thank goodness I did. Um, I think that was mostly because... Uh, it was headed back to survival horror. I like survival horror. Now, it is true that Resident Evil 3 is survival horror action oriented, but still got those elements of the story, things you can pay attention to, and eh, things like that. But this one, Resident Evil 8 in particular, seems to be a com combination of 4 and the newer remakes, you know, mm, hard to say. Uh, I like my games to have uh, the boxes in them, the save rooms. I, I don't like a. a move and briefcase thing which is probably why i didn't care much for four see i didn't grow up on four like most of you probably young kids did uh somebody in their 20s and 30s probably real fond of four i'm in my 40s so when i when resident evil 4 came out it was exclusive to the nintendo it was to the gamecube i think and your boy wasn't on no damn gamecube so whatever um but let's get on with this um the pacing of this game at the beginning is so slow and boring man god he took me i was falling asleep a few but i mean i guess they gotta set it up right now let's be honest most resident evil stories game the, game, the stories just aren't worth a damn so i'm gonna just put that on the table so i don't expect a lot from the story to blow me away but it started slow as shit um with that being said um i never liked the idea of even when ethan winters Generic white guy number 32, you know, <laughs> the guy, the guy has no personality. He doesn't emote. Um, he's just like a plank of wood. They say he's a lot better in this game. I don't agree. I mean, maybe he's got an old shit and wow here or there, but he really doesn't emote that much, man. And I didn't like him in seven. If I don't like him in, and, I, and therefore I don't like him in eight, he does not emote. He is constantly getting hurt and it seemingly doesn't, he doesn't feel anything. Now I can't say anything about that because there's a reason why he doesn't feel a lot of pain it can get his member but that'll spoil the story and i'm not gonna do that for you at least not here uh he's boring let's put it that way ethan is boring moving on chris is in the game but doesn't help ethan too much i mean i guess there's a a little bit he does once again i don't want to spoil too much but he's on the ground but what the heck he doesn't do any much um why can't chris just go ahead and do this mission why why not be special agent chris I don't understand why Chris isn't on the ground tackling the threat 
and Ethan is I mean the story kind of gives you a flim flam reason why but it's not good enough for me I mean Chris has got the firepower he's got everything at his disposal a team all that good stuff nah he's not gonna do it he's just not gonna go ahead and help out and kill stuff until the nth hour so but that's really how these games go right I, I feel like I'm just an RE pursuit purist purist I like survival horror more than action horror so uh, the game is a major letdown in that area and like I said before RE4 is never my cup of tea um, I don't want a merchant now don't get me wrong the merchant whether it be the Duke or the original merchant have a, they have a lot of flair I like merchants in games but just not in my Resident Evil game it never appealed to me I, I will say I like the Duke better than I do the original merchant even though the original merchants got better lines <laughs> what are you buying I did, I did like that guy I did like that guy I can't not lie um, but that speaks to this. This fat guy is selling you shit and he appears all over the map. It just breaks immersion. Like, how is he just like the original merchant was skinny? So it makes sense. He show up someplace, he was sneaky, had a little coat. Man, who's gonna miss the Duke? The Duke should be on my 600 pound life, yet he's moving more nimbler than the flash around this map. Ended up in a castle, out on the roadway, and he's got everything you need. No man, maybe if he wasn't so big, I believe he could move that fast. But whatever. I mean, those dwarves or elves or whatever the freak they were in God of War moved everywhere without reasoning too. So I guess if they can do it, he can do it, right? <laughs> but I don't I don't like a merchant in my game. Um I don't want vampires and werewolves in my game. Yes, I'm that guy. I said I'm a purist before. I don't care how you explain these vampires, werewolves, lichens, whatever you want to call them. I don't want them in the game, bro. I just I just it's never been re thing to me how do you scientifically explain vampires and werewolves there is a way they try to do it in this game but guess what buddy i'm not buying it let's move on the story seems to be bad but i'll excuse that because most re stories are uh, are bona fide ass you know um but to put it quite short ethan loses his daughter his wife he get kidnapped by somebody i won't say he ends up in this town he's got to go look for his daughter which is his main purpose he fights four heads of families to get through and it's just a car they describe it as a carnival horror i describe it as a it's a wild ride of shit you know i don't know but like i said it's got a good point I'll, I'll go to some of the good points in a few after this i guess because i i'm not gonna hit much um the arcadey vibe is not for me you kill an enemy and they drop down and start giving you glowing money and stuff uh, uh you know it's funny i hear people complain about when uh re3 had a raid and when bodies would disappear and splatter they don't like that well here we go your body just appeared in resident evil 8 and 4 uh, i'm gonna let that go you know it's funny how y'all get picky on <laughs> what do you want to be in a resident evil game and what you don't so mm -hmm. um it's fine for mercenaries if it's a little arcadey and money drops and items drop but i don't want that in the main game uh i don't want an eight foot tall smoking hot vampire lady in my game i mean i i take a smoking hot a put vampire lady don't get me wrong but in my video game to scare me i mean come on who's really scared of this woman man are we supposed to be scared or turned on by this woman I hope most people i was going to put up the clips of uh her in a sexy outfit but i don't want to steal anybody's mod footage you know and uh, but anyway um she takes no damage when she pursues when she pursues you what the f at least mr x and nemesis went down and gave you stuff in particular cases like nemesis you know he gave you something uh, provide no inf incentive to face off against this woman. I mean, I guess you just want to run around a chair and like peekaboo with her. But other than that, she can't be hurt. You know, sound like a Mary Sue villain to me. Anyway, <laughs> let me move on. Uh, I don't want carnival style vibe of horror. I already mentioned that. Campkin is trying to force so many styles into one package. I think that's going to be this undoing. This is going to be one of those games where people love it for two weeks, and about a month from now, when it you know what's a month of now when it comes out, when, it, when it's out for a while. People are going to be like, oh, no, I never liked it. It was this and that. And everything's going to be wrong with it. People are happy when it's shiny and new. And then they get all upset later on. So I'm pretty sure you'll see those videos coming up. Um, uh, let me see what else. The same people who didn't like five and six are given a pass to eight. And I just, I don't know. I don't, I don't get that. Because six had a, a kind of like a different posh posture styles, even though they did do it worse. I'll be honest. At least RE8's connective tissue is better than RE6. So I'll give it that. Um, but they, people are giving this game a pass. Who said they didn't like 5 and 6's gameplay? This is arcadey action. I don't get it. And I get it. 
those people said they didn't like the action and now they're they're, they're praising this game eh, eh, go figure right fickle 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 um i think they made this as a blueprint uh and a precursor to resident evil 4 remake I look at this game and I look at its, its design, its layout, its attributes, its gameplay, and it looks to be like they're getting RE4 Remake ready. And it will be very similar to this because this already, I mean, everybody's saying getting RE4 vibes from the suitcase to the merchant to the layout of the town and the gameplay style. It's just, I mean, I'm, I'm saying it's not, it's not really a bad thing. It's not really a bad thing. It's just, I don't want some of these things in my game and I'm naming them for you. Let me go over the good things about Resident Evil 8. First off, excellent graphics, excellent graphics. I, I do like that they brought Ethan back in a capacity to finish his story. Um, I like what they did with Mia. Um, his Him having a baby, I don't know. Uh, I like the, gun, the gunplay. I like the way you upgrade your weapons. Uh, the actual gameplay is good. The villains in the story are, while unique in some aspects, don't really do it for me, but I can see how people might like them. Like, him. come on, Lady D, come on, people, people want to love her. <laughs> Literally love her, right? They want to be jacking off to her at night. <laughs> but you don't get the uh, spotlight on people like Moreau or the, uh, what's the other chick with the doll? I forget her name. But you only see Heisenberg and Lady D mostly, and you, I didn't even know there was a lady, uh, not a lady, but um, a Mother Miranda until the game came out. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure there was going to be a secret bad guy, but I didn't know that part. No. But there's a lot of stuff about this game that is indeed good. And I named it the game, the gunplay, the, uh, the graphics, a little bit of the story. It is charming in its own way, but it is not for me. And this is just some of my thoughts on the game. Man. Um, if you have some thoughts on the game, if you've been playing it like it dropped, a line down below i greatly appreciate it um i probably get this when it goes on sale and i suggest you do too but i'm pretty sure you're not gonna listen to me a lot of you already bought it i'm late with this but i appreciate you for watching and listening and all that good stuff uh go watch some of my past videos stay tuned for more videos i've got a bunch of videos coming out soon i'm trying to decide on what i'm going to do with my transformer stuff am i going to put it here on the other channel speaking of the other channel i am over on gaming so spectacular my other youtube channel where i stream daily well monday through friday I just want to try to stream on that channel and you can catch me on fridays on twitch that's probably the only day i'll do twitch for a while and you can catch me on instagram all the links down below and all of this stuff hey i appreciate you and if you want to help me out hit the share button hit the like button share it with a friend tell people about this channel go watch some more videos i appreciate you guys and as always if you can't be good you get at it i'm out of guys take care peace What's good, Spectacular Soldiers? If you're like me, you're upset that video's over. 